Hello guys and welcome in today's video So today we're gonna be talking about the new uh, updates that Gallo has been doing on the uh, dev build which includes the new terrain physics work on a couple of tracks so he started with the sand uh, physics as you saw in the video before this one and then since that gave a pretty good feedback and he also tried it out on different tracks because it was giving like a good uh, dirt uh, feeling like a good uh, dirt feedback it kind of really felt like you were riding on dirt and not on like a concrete surface so he's trying to implement it on some of the uh, stock tracks as well so not just the sand only of course this is not going to behave like the deep sand track of course but he's tuning it to feel as close as possible to like uh, real dirt so right now I'm just spinning my first couple of laps on Andes MX and I can confidently say this feels much much better I don't know like how to describe it to you because I feel like you should have to play it yourself to really kind of understand what I'm saying but you can actually feel more of the ground underneath the bike like it doesn't feel like you're riding on a on asphalt pretty much so that was the feeling that most games i i've ever played have so you get that feeling that pretty much everywhere is just concrete and it's just hard as a rock but right now i'm actually kind of feeling the difference in, even with the previous build I've been trying to play a little bit more than usual to um, keep up with the work that he's been doing so I can actually give a pretty um, pretty precise feedback and I'm really enjoying like the feeling that I get on throttle and also when you lose the grip it's very good like this you can actually mess up the exit of the corners which is going to require a much more uh, careful riding style you're not just gonna pretty much hammer it everywhere but that's really 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 good he's also been working with the latest uh, dev update on the new braking algorithm because i've always um, like with the previous builds it always seemed like you got too much braking too quickly and it was kind of hard to judge the braking points it was a little bit more difficult to uh, get the bike into the corners because for me personally I was struggling a lot and I felt like we had way too much uh, brake power so he had uh, the uh, brake sliders and those helped a lot and I used them pretty much at the lowest setting possible but to test it today I turned them up to the max so I can actually get a better feeling and a better understanding of how this is working and to my surprise these are actually working amazing I can actually feel the braking come into play and I can decide if I want to brake late or brake early and kind of slide the bike into the corner which is very very good whereas, whereas before you always had to be careful not to go too much braking otherwise the bike would just start acting funny and kind of send you all over the place so that is very very good so overall the flow of the riding right now is so good man I could play this game for hours and not get tired I also cannot wait to see like where he's gonna take it with the terrain physics because as of right now this is like a very very first uh, implementation and I'm really really enjoying it feels very very good especially with the weight transfers as well so I'm gonna pin one more lap on Andes and then we're gonna switch to another track that he has made the uh, update on and I'm gonna tell you how I feel on that so let's just send it one more time see how it goes try to push it a little bit I want to show you actually that when you give too much throttle you can spin out and stuff
so yeah overall the bike right now feels very very planted very predictable even on this track I, al I always had a little bit of difficulty going around on this track without um, crashing and I'm really really happy that I can actually flow on it right now without struggling too much okay, so let's see if I can actually get a decent slide out of the corner oh yeah too much so that actually is really good because now you have to be careful about your throttle management especially on tracks that are gonna be a little bit lower grip because in the track editor you can decide how much grip you want you could also make this track feel like velcro if you wanted so that can be like very unrealistic but you can do that he also worked a lot on the uh, the new um, how how did they call it like the way the bike reacts on slopes and takeoffs and landings he worked a lot on that to have it as smooth as possible so the game didn't act weird anymore so that's actually another super good improvement okay we ended the lap and now we're gonna switch to uh, Michigan MX and I'm gonna tell you how I feel on that okay here we are on Michigan MX so this terrain should feel very very loamy almost sand like I think especially when they rip it up for the national and they rip it very very deep so as of right now it feels close like it feels like a mix between I might be wrong it, it might just be my brain but right now it feels like a mix between the uh, hell of sand track and the uh, Andes Max that you guys saw like feeling wise on the controller it feels like a mix in between yeah as you can see the bike handles the bumps very very well and the front end is very predictable yeah maybe if I actually learn how to jump properly so yeah I'm gonna put like the couple maybe the last couple of change logs that he has worked on so you can actually kinda have a look at what he's been working on because I read today that he's very close on another big big update update for you guys so stay tuned for that I think it's gonna come out in a couple of days but don't take it don't take my word for it I'm not sure 100% Yes, right now this feels so much better than the previous versions. Yeah, look at that. I didn't put my weight back on the braking. I really enjoy like this new braking system. It works very, very well. I really enjoy it. I don't have to tune the brake power down anymore because this feels very, very predictable as I launch it off the track right after I said that but that's just me being a bad player so I can't wait for you guys to actually try it and give me feedback on the comments on what you think about this new uh, rain physics and also in the next couple of days I'm gonna shoot another video on my uh, GNCC track that I'm currently working on so if you guys want to gain access to that track, just you can just um, support the channel on the Patreon and you're gonna automatically get access to uh, pretty much all my work in progress tracks, all my future projects. So if you want to test them out, maybe give me some feedback on what you would like and what you don't like. I was maybe thinking about uh, taking track requests, but I would like to get even better at track making before doing stuff like that because I really want to deliver the best work that is possible with my skill set so that's gonna take a little bit more time but in the meantime if you guys want to support the channel or gain access to pretty much all my work before I release it I'm gonna drop the link of my patreon in the description you can feel free to do that or you can just pretty much to support the channel you can just hit the subscribe button leave a comment 
leave a like, you know, the usual stuff. I don't really like to ask for this stuff, but maybe saying it in the video will help the algorithm to uh, make the video run better. So that is all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick video on the new stuff that Gallo has been working on. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Peace.